Technology is a useful servant but a dangerous master. Christian Luce Lang Right now, invisible signals are flying through the air around you. These massive radio waves, which span lengths as wide as houses, carry vital information between computers, GPS systems, and cell phones. They enable the modern world to stay connected. If your eyes could see radio waves, your phone would glow brightly, visible all the way from Jupiter. But this isn't a solitary glow. The sky is crowded with interference from routers, satellites, and the signals of people flying without turning on airplane mode. This isn't just a flight safety issue. It's about protecting everyone within the flight path. Cell phones connect to networks by emitting electromagnetic waves. Specifically, they use radio waves that occupy a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. These waves vary in wavelength, and if you could see them, each one might appear as a different color. When you make a call, your phone sends out a unique wavelength to the nearest cell tower. If you're far from service, your phone increases its signal strength, draining more battery in an effort to make the connection. Once a connection is established, the signal travels between cell towers until it reaches the call's recipient. To avoid confusion, cell towers assign each call its own wavelength. This ensures that you're not accidentally picking up someone else's conversation. Even the wavelengths for sending and receiving signals are slightly different to prevent interference. However, the demand for wavelengths has skyrocketed with the advent of Wi-Fi and other wireless technologies. The limited range of available wavelengths means interference is increasingly common. During emergencies, for instance, too many signals can overwhelm cell towers. But there's another preventable source of interference, phones searching for service from thousands of meters in the air. When phones on planes search for a signal, they emit powerful radio waves. These waves, amplified due to the distance from cell towers, can overwhelm ground-based networks. Planes traveling at high speeds complicate this further, as phones quickly move between towers, sending out massive signals that disrupt ground communication. In essence, a phone left on mid-flight acts like a military-grade jammer. Its radio waves drown out local signals, affecting calls, texts, and internet connectivity. Even on the ground, electronics emit rogue radio waves. This creates subtle yet cumulative interference, slowing down internet speeds and causing dropped calls. Such interference pushes service providers to expand bandwidth, often by encroaching on additional parts of the radio spectrum. This leads to more satellites being launched into orbit, blanketing the planet with even more radio waves. The cycle continues, with increasing congestion affecting both terrestrial and extraterrestrial systems. Astronomy is particularly vulnerable. Radio telescopes rely on specific wavelengths to detect faint signals from distant galaxies and black holes. These wavelengths are supposedly protected, but enforcement is weak. For example, the Very Large Array, a powerful radio telescope, can observe signals from across the solar system. However, if it tunes into wavelengths below 5 GHz, it risks interference from 5G networks. Today, there are no truly radio-quiet zones left on Earth. Satellites relaying data around the globe have ensured that the skies are constantly crowded. However, some remote areas still allow astronomers to peer deep into the cosmos. In these rare locations, we can observe the black hole at the Milky Way's center or study galaxies billions of light years away. But even these sanctuaries are at risk. Signals from phones, especially those left on during flights, threaten to blind these scientific instruments. The ripple effects of unchecked interference go beyond dropped calls. They endanger humanity's ability to explore the universe and understand our place within it. So next time you board a flight, remember, turning on airplane mode isn't just about safety. It's about respecting the delicate balance of a world connected by invisible waves and ensuring we don't lose sight of the stars. For more videos, please like and subscribe.